The questions are going to be now, what, what does Israel do? What is a target? Uh, there are some who would argue uh, that the appropriate response is, uh, you know, is to take out... Remember, Israel doesn't have a border with Iran. Iran is far away. Iran is using its proxies, Hezbollah, and, and has used its proxies, Hezbollah and Hamas, to, uh, to attack Israel. Israel is dealing with both. Uh, and so the, the next step is, uh, what does Israel do um, with regard to Iran? No border. It's not going to launch ground invasion. Uh, what, will it, what can it do from the air? And it's got a number of potential targets. One, it can attack uh, known stores of ballistic missiles and ballistic launchers that the Iranians have, many of them tucked into caves deep in mountains and bunkers deep in mountains. Uh, that would be an assignment better left to the Americans, but that would be one target. Second target, Israel could launch an attack, as I recommended in April, on every single one. There, there, probably, there are dozens of these facilities, every single facility known to the Israelis to be engaged and to be responsible for the development and the progress in Iran's nuclear program. They could basically take that back that program uh, by decades, by a decade. Um, one option, of course, there is, again, uh, some of this stuff is deep into the mountain. Um, and there, Israel, again, I think could benefit enormously from help with the Americans, at least on those targets where you need, uh, you know, a, a, a good big, uh, you know, bust, uh, bunker busting bomb that Israel just doesn't have, and indeed doesn't have the airplane to carry. Uh, those are the kind of bombs that the uh, what are the B2s, B52s could carry, uh, not Israel. And then, uh, so that's the nuclear program. I would also uh, put it on the target uh, on targets uh, every single uh, drone uh, building facility the Iranians have, every single military infrastructure. Uh, all their military hardware, uh, what do you call it, military industrial complex type uh, facilities should be on the target list. Uh, and those are kind of the, the, the conventional things. Uh, beyond that, right, uh, and, and, and those are things that you could imagine the Americans helping. Of course, if you take out the drone capabilities, you're helping the Ukrainians, you're hurting the Russians. Uh, you're also protecting your own citizens because they can't launch those drones on you. They can't provide those drones to Hezbollah. Hezbollah is using uh, Iranian launch. So all of those are easy to do. And Israel knows where they are. They know the targets. They know the facilities. They know exactly, exactly, um, uh, you know, how to, how to take care of all those sites. They know the nuclear sites uh, in um, it, their location inside, inside Iran. And... Um, uh, you know, Israel should be able to target them. A number of people, by the way, uh, are pointing out online that this kind of attack on Israel, a massive attack, not of drones that can be shot down, but of hundreds of ballistic missiles is clearly unequivocally an act of war. I mean, that's a little ridiculous to say in a sense because October 7th was an act of war. Uh, Hamas could not have done what it did without Iran. Uh, Hezbollah's participation in the war since Oct uh, October 7th is an act of war by Iran. They're completely funded, supported, armed, and everything by Iran. They couldn't have done what they did without Iran. And, and the launch of missiles against Israel in April was an act of war. So, uh, you know, Israel's at war and has been at war with Iran for decades. This is not new. Uh, this is maybe an excuse to take the war seriously. Okay. I don't know why you need such excuses, but okay. Israel has no B-52s. It has no bomber capabilities. Its, it's, it's bombing capabilities are F-15s, uh, 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 you know, um, uh, you know, F-35s, F-15s, F-35s, F-16s. That, that's what Israel has. Israel does not have a big bomber. It, it doesn't need it. it. It's never needed it. It's never, um, and, and, you know, it's, it's, it's never bought any. It's... It doesn't have strategic bombers. It doesn't have to fly very far. Now, with Iran, maybe it does. Uh, Israel also has ground-to-ground -ground ballistic missiles and things like that, which it has not used anywhere, as far as I can tell. That technology has not yet been used. It has cruise missiles. Again, I don't think missiles that uh, have been used offensively. Israel relies heavily 
on its um, Air Force, on its, uh, again, F-15s, F-35s, F-16s, to inflict pain even at, at distances that even in Iran, even in places like Yemen, which is a thousand miles away, uh, Israel uses those capabilities. It does not have strategic bombers.